Hey guys, Cool Brick here with another custom mock. This is a rally truck, and in case you guys, uh, anybody out there isn't familiar with the sport of rally cross, it's pretty much uh, kind of hardcore driving, I guess. Uh, some of it's uh, off road, some of it's on road. Um, not like bushwhacking kind of off road, but uh, like dirt roads and stuff, and the point of it is basically to go from point A to point B as fast as you possibly can, and uh, usually they do it in um, either uh, modified, uh, highly modified sports uh, sedans, and they use like all-wheel drive cars and all sorts of stuff like that, and um, I actually built a kind of larger scale truck. Um, so not, not necessarily like your standard small rally car, it's kind of a larger thing, maybe participating in a more bigger scale rally, I guess, like the Paris Dakar rally. Um, so anyway, that's pretty much a kind of background on what kind of a vehicle this is. And it is in minifig scale, uh, there is a minifig in there. And as you guys can see, this has suspension. Uh, it has a loose suspension system, but there's also a stiff suspension system. And that's why I use these large tires, actually, so I could install a stiff suspension system. Uh, so you can see that the, uh, I can push these down here. It's independent. So if I turn this, you can see I can do this on each single tire by itself. And uh, same thing with the loose suspension, I can do one wheel at a time. So it's a combination of loose and stiff, which is pretty cool. Before I uh, show more about the looks of the truck, I guess I can show you guys how I uh, did the suspension system. Just remove this wheel here. And uh, you can see I've just got a uh, Technic beam in here, and then I've got this uh, rubber element uh, in there. And so when you press down on this uh, wheel, uh, that's the stiff suspension working right there. And the uh, looseness of uh, this beam is uh, the loose suspension. So, oops, dropping some of the cargo here. But uh, you can see it's an effective combination of both to get over some pretty large terrain, uh, which is good. As for uh, the design of the truck, I guess I just wanted something like a really heavily modified, um, almost like a Unimog style, except this is obviously nothing near a Unimog truck. Um, you know, I guess just almost a completely customized, some, some kind of truck of some sort. So, you know, a very heavily customized vehicle, not something stock at all. And uh, it has a nice color scheme to it. I'll go ahead and remove the... Uh, roof. Wow, okay. A lot more things came off than should have come off. Okay, there we go. That was what's, what's supposed to happen. Um, as you can see, I've got a, a driver in here. Now, normally in Rally, they also have navigators, but I didn't quite have a spot for him, unfortunately. Um, so I just put a ton of detail into the driver's uh, area, I guess. So as you can see, there is a... Uh, he has a matching uh, suit for uh, the truck's color scheme, and uh, in the driver's compartment there's a steering wheel, a, a speed gauge, and he's holding a gear shift lever in there. So lots of awesome detail in the cab. And in the back you can see there are some supplies, uh, walkie-talkie, there's some tools, and fuel, and stuff, I guess. So I'm uh, not... whoops. Um, I guess you guys can kind of see how I built the different parts of the truck. Just a lot of snot building, studs not on top, a lot of that. Um, as I was saying in the back, we've got some supplies in this removable compartment here. And there's a hidden compartment underneath with a chain in case the truck gets stuck. So uh, I like that feature over there, a hidden compartment. And uh, yeah, and I guess that's pretty much it for this truck. Uh, if you guys want me to do a tutorial on the suspension in case you couldn't really already see how it was done, um, I can do that. Just mention it below in the comments and uh, thanks.
Thanks for watching, and as always, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe.